Are you shooting studio, capturing landscapes, trying to get that perfect thumbnail? You're gonna wanna know this sweet Lightroom trick that'll just speed up your workflow tenfold. What's up guys, my name is Dax Brule. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use tethered shooting in Lightroom to help speed up your shooting process and also help you catch any mistakes that could happen. Before we start, you're gonna need Lightroom CC for this. You are gonna need a couple other things. First of all, a camera that can connect to a computer via USB. My OSR here uses a USB-C cable. Just search your camera manufacturer, what connector you're gonna need. Some of them might take micro USB or um, that other type of USB. I don't know the exact name. You're gonna need a desktop or a laptop. Either one works as long as you can plug that USB into that app. And you're gonna wanna have Lightroom CC installed on that computer. Okay, let me walk you through how to do this. I'm just gonna boot up my computer. And I'm gonna show you guys every single step to get this going. Okay, so I'm here in a collection of mine. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come up to File, Tethered Capture, and you're gonna wanna start a tethered capture. So I'm just gonna call mine, you know, I would just call this testing. You can call it whatever your studio session is gonna be. Let's say you're taking photos with Miranda, I would say Miranda. Then you can do segment photos by shot. This lets you divide the different poses and different, you know, shots you take into different categories, instantly into different folders for you. So let's say you're gonna do eight different poses. Might as well segment photos by shot so it's instantly after the shoot already organized for you. Moving on, naming, simple file naming. You could choose any naming system you would like. Destination, the cool thing about tethered shooting is you don't actually need an SD card in your camera to shoot. It'll instantly put the photos onto your computer and this is where you can choose that. Just press select folder, choose. It's gonna be same on Apple. You're just gonna be seeing a different finder. Add to collection if you'd like it, them to instantly add it to a collection when you shoot, you can click that. Information, it'll automatically add your copyright information or any other metadata and presets you have. You can also add and edit presets there. Any keywords you instantly wanna Add, let's say you know you're taking photos of Miranda might as well write Miranda in the keywords disable auto advance what this button here does is when you take a photo it'll automatically advance and select the next photo if you want if you don't want to be always looking at the next photo when you're taking photos on your screen then you can disable this so I'm just gonna press ok and then it's gonna ask for the, the initial shot I'm just gonna call this you know pose one now it's gonna look for detecting camera this is when you should plug in your camera you could you could have had it plugged in before it'll it'll recognize it then but plug in your camera at this point if you haven't and you might hear that noise and that means it is going. So as you can see here, it's gonna show you your camera. If you have more than one plugged in, you can select the camera you want to shoot off of. Then you can change all the settings on the camera, which is really cool actually. Just come by coming here, you can just select, let's say I want 100 shutter. The only thing you can't see is a preview. You're gonna to have to use your screen to see that. Also here, select develop settings and this will automatically apply this preset as you take the photo. Over here, this is gonna be the capture button if you wanna take a photo, or you can also just press the shutter button on your camera. The setting button here, you're gonna be able to change all those settings you had chosen before. You have to press okay to get out of here. And then here, you can change the name of um, your shot. So let's say, you know, you did pose one, you're done with pose one, so I would just say pose two. And here on the left, you're gonna see it's gonna already make a pose two file for you. So now it comes to shooting. Take a couple photos. Make sure you are on photo mode in your camera. I'm just gonna take a quick test shot and bang, there you go. Now you see instantly the photo is being imported into Lightroom. There you can see, this is just a photo of my screen recorder. And then here, from here, you can do all your editing here or you can bring it into the develop module. What else I'm gonna show you is where you save the photo is gonna be the file of the studio session name. So there you go, I see this, the testing and then it's gonna show me all the poses. So all those photos are already organized in there. If you wanna get more in depth with settings, you're gonna have to change those all in your camera. I'm afraid the only things you can actually you change on here are these set simple settings here. But that's pretty much how you do tethered shooting. So there you go, you can do this anywhere you want. Just plug in your camera, boot up Lightroom, tethered shooting, you can have your custom settings and just start snapping photos and organize them instantly. So when you get home, not only have you seen all the photos, you know they look good, you know which ones are the ones to keep because you can rate them as well as you're taking the photos. And this just lets you, you know, be way more organized. Not only that, you can look more professional in the studio if you have a, a setup like that. Now, finally, let me just tell you some of the uses I've used this for. Landscapes, let's say you're going out on a big landscape to get this one shot or you're not gonna be moving as much. You can set up your computer Computer and instantly you know see the photos you are taking as you take them edit them I use this a lot for taking my thumbnails when I'm taking my thumbnails for my YouTube video just plug in the camera take a couple photos I can instantly see them instantly edit them bring them into Photoshop directly if I wish and the last one is for self portraits it's great if you're taking self portraits sexy self portraits and you want to be able to see the photo image review quickly so I hope you guys enjoyed that video question of the day for you guys do you shoot studio have you ever shot studio and are you gonna be using this in your studio shoot maybe some of you guys already use this that'd be great 
If you enjoyed this video, tap the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe new videos every single week. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I drop a new video. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands. Dab. Dab is so 20, like 16. I don't even know when the dab was. Creators, keep creating. See you guys in the next one. Peace.